Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today we will compare the F-22 versus Su-57. Arguments regarding the superiority of Russian or American fifth-generation fighters are highly debated among aviation experts and fans. The fifth-generation fighter concept depends on several stringent requirements, including the fighter's supermaneuverability, low observability to enemy radars, supersonic cruise speed, long-range air-to-air combat capability, and compatibility with a single network-centric battlefield management system. Fifth-generation aircraft currently in service include the Chinese Chengdu J-20 Black Eagle, the Russian Su-57 heavy multi-role fighter, the American F-22 Raptor, and the F-35 Lightning II. Then there is the so-called 4++ generation, which consists of Russian Aerospace Forces aircraft like the Su-35S and Su-30SM. Although these aircraft are less expensive, they nonetheless share many traits with fifth-generation fighters. If there is an aerial battle between the Russian fifth-generation fighter Su-57 and the American F-22 Raptor, then it will be a direct confrontation between the United States and Russia. Let's talk a bit about F-22. The first fifth-generation aircraft to be serially produced was the heavy fighter F-22 Raptor. Its creation started in 1986 as a component of the Future Tactical Fighter Program, which was an advanced tactical fighter program. It is noteworthy that in order to prevent raising the price of the development and subsequent manufacturing of serial fighters, the criteria for the aircraft were dropped. Thus, they gave up on using an optical locator for close-quarters warfare and side-looking radars. On January 14, 1999, the first F-22 serial number was handed to the Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. The 27th Squadron at Langley Air Force Base was the unit to which the new aircraft were completely assigned to engage in combat for the first time in 2004. The fighter is built with stealth technology, and all of its armaments, missiles and bombs, are kept inside of internal bays. To limit visibility, the entire cockpit canopy is coated in gold. 382 aircraft were to be purchased in 2006 in order to outfit seven squadrons for combat service. The acquisition target was scaled back to 188 aircraft by 2008, 127 of those had been produced at that point. The U.S. government decided not to pursue the purchase of this aircraft and instead concentrated on the F-35 program due to the economic downturn and the substantial expense of the Raptor. It's important to remember that each fighter was only expected to cost $35, 40 million throughout the development phase. Open sources, however, claim that the American government had to pay $183 million for each serial F-22 fighter, and that amount increased to $350 million when research and development expenses were included. The development program came at a total cost of $65 billion. There are many who claim that the F-22 fighter is literally worth its weight in gold. The same $350 million were spent in February 2006 on 19.7 tons of pure gold which is the weight of an empty fifth-generation fighter. Still, the Raptor isn't the priciest aircraft in the world by any means. The B-2 Spirit is an honorary title given to the low-observable stealth bomber. The U.S. Air Force spent $1.157 billion on each of the built aircraft, while an additional $2.1 billion were spent on research and development. The Link-16 command communication line allows fighters to be directed without using onboard radars. This is a navigation and identification communication system that supports data exchange between tactical commands, aircraft, ships, and ground units. Rapid frequency hopping ensures security. American fifth-generation fighters are not intended for electronic warfare tasks. The F-22 Raptor is strictly an aircraft capable of participating in aerial combat and delivering precision strikes on ground targets using guided high-precision air-to-surface weapons. The U.S. has another aircraft for electronic warfare, EW, the EA-18G Growler. The F-22 had not been integrated into the network-centric air combat management system for which it had been expressly intended. In addition, the F-22 is extremely difficult, if not impossible, to update. Now, let's take a look at the Su-57 Felon. The Russian fifth-generation fighter, the Su-57, is less expensive than the American Raptor in every way. The approximate cost of an aircraft is $30 million. On January 29, 2010, the fighter made its first flight from Komsomolsk Amur Airport. The aircraft went into serial production in 2019. 20 combat aircraft have been produced in serial form, and 10 prototypes as of right now. 
In contrast to the Raptor, the Russian fifth-generation fighter incorporates sight-phased array radars on the edges of its wings, as well as one in the nose. In addition, an optoelectronic targeting device is included, allowing for covert attacks without activating the onboard radar. The Su-57 pilot may also guide missiles by moving their head and utilizing a sight built into their helmet. By the way, the arsenal factory in Kiev created and built the world's first helmet-mounted sight, or Shell UM, for Soviet fourth-generation aircraft, the MiG-29 and Su-27. The Su-57 fuselage conceals guided bombs, air-to-air -air and air-to-surface guided missiles, and other stealth weapons, similar to the Raptor. Nonetheless, the Russian fighter's ability to vector its engine's force in various directions gives it exceptional maneuverability. Thrust vectoring is limited to the vertical plane on the F-22. Su-57 now has something like Lynx system in F-22. The new system has improved in unity to interference and surveillance. It features encoding and decoding components that are resistant to being jammed, a receiver for signals coming from worldwide satellite navigation systems and a bus for digital signal processing and synchronization. The stealth fighter has a good electronic warfare system too. Su-57 can be buddy paired with equally powerful Russia's stealthy hunter drone Sequoia 7 Okotnik B, and the Russians are building artificial intelligence into it. Despite coming in second, one may argue that the Russian fifth-generation fighter Su-57 is more versatile in combat applications since, as the name suggests, it was originally designed to be an all-around futuristic aircraft system for frontline combat. The F-22 was taught to hit ground targets much later. Initially, it was only an air superiority fighter. Currently, these two fighters are limited to virtual battle and distinct flight simulators reflecting the East and West's competing military ideologies. Maybe this is a good thing. Do you think the F-22 can dominate the Su-57 in a combat scenario? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.